get going. Some reverse duels. There's Yugi versus Pegasus. There we are. Okay, let's go a second. Fuck it. Good end, good end. See a fucking thing from all the way back here. Right, that's level three pendulum. So we'll put that in pendulum zone. Box. That's the one. Oh fuck, I meant to put that in defense. Now uh, He got big warrior. Easy as fuck. I'm having to squint just to see the TV to be honest because I need to get some new glasses. Yo Jack, what's up? Bastard. I don't know. I can re summon that with pendulum summoning anyway. That don't bother me at all. Shard agreed. Fantastic. Right, I'll kill the fuck out of that. I'd say I got 1200. Nope. Oh yeah, he's got swords revealing light. I didn't even fucking notice that. Should get a power boost of about 600 for summoning him with a pendulum summon. I think it's about 600 anyway. I can't see power ups from all the way back here, so that's gonna be good. Oh, three. Okay, three power ups. And it's 400 attack for each spell gun. Okay, so he's powerful as fuck right now. What have we got? 
three months is all six. I could summon it, but to be honest, I'd, I'd just end up losing, like, power by summoning that, so... Oh, fuck it. I keep going to attack and keep forgetting about the Swords of Ravine, like... Oh, maybe one more turn, anyway, until we can get fucking Swords of Ravine, like, right off. Set that down. What we got here? Reinforcements. Yeah, fuck it, we'll play that. Uh, we'll bring up Dark Blade. Screw it. Look at all these pile of Dark Blade. The Souls are really much going now, yeah? There we go. You're watching bust out his dark magician or something skull or something now. Come on, Yugi, do something. Fantastic play, Yugi. Absolutely brilliant. We use that to power up my uh, break of the dark magical warrior. Time to go on a killing spree. Switch man, kill him. Dark blade will kill that. And then I'll attack him with Breaker. <laughs> 3300, sorry Yugi, you're gonna get fucked. I think he's already given up hope. Fuck it, I'm, I'm gonna beat him with Goblin to Bug. Oh, well, good cards, come on. Damage is chaos. Ritual for Dark Magician and Chaos. I can't even see what that says from all the way back here, but fuck it. I could play with the story deck and actually use like several versions of Exodia using Seeker, but fuck it, I'm used to our Benjamin deck. Especially good. Oh, I use half your deck, why don't you? Um, we use double summon to bring out the blue dragon summoner. And he's, I've got two other blue dragon summoners, so that's fucking fantastic. Okay. I'll also bring out Sacred Crane. We'll play that. And we'll set that down on the field. What have we got to work with? Yeah, let's bring out Utopia. And that powers up spellcasters, and Utopia is not a spellcaster. No, I don't want to use Utopia, Utopia's ability. Utopia's ability stops attacks. Why would you want to use Utopia's attack, ability to stop Utopia's attack? I swear to God, this game is so fucking thick sometimes. I'm about to attack with Utopia. It wants to know if I want to cancel the attack. No? Nah, screw it. I'll say that for when he actually plays a decent spell or trap card. Like that. I buy swords of Ravine and Light. Ooh, that's cool. That's that's good, that is. With that mole, I can attack any monster, send it back to their hand, and then send the mole back to my hand, like... So I can get any, any monster I don't like off the field. I think Yugi's actually given a hope. Oh, okay, we've got two X, what? We've got two Xyz, uh, no pendulum monsters. You really don't understand this game. 
it makes a lot more sense when you know what the fuck you're looking at. <laughs> these monsters uh, it is actually a quite a bit like top trumps just a lot more very advanced and not like top trumps at all ba basically the basics of the game is whoever's if, if, if I've got a monster in attack mode then attack points are what you look at and if they've got a monster in attack mode then that's what there's two different modes there's attack and defense if I attack one of their cards whatever stats being used at the moment either attack or defense, whoever's got the highest basically loses. So if he's got the Beaver Warrior in defense mode, his defense mode's 1200, so I've just got to attack him with a monster that has more than 1200 attack. But there's more to it than that because there's levels, you can't summon a monster that's higher than level 4 without sacrificing one of your own monsters on the field, so unless you Xyz or Pendulum Summon or Synchro Summon, which is Something I didn't even understand until I got this game because I stopped watching Yu-Gi-Oh when I was about 14, maybe. And then I only recently got back into it. it wasn't anything against the series, I just started doing other things I didn't really have time for watching TV in general. But ever since getting this game, I've retaught myself all this stuff and learned about Pendulum and Xyz and uh, Synchro Summoning. And now I'll just rely on my Pendulum deck. I had no idea what a Pendulum Summon was a few months ago. When I stopped watching it, all it was, all, all you had to think about was Fusion Summoning and Special Summoning. And then uh, by this game, it's like Synchro Summoning, Pendulum Summoning, Xyz Summoning, and I'm like, what the fuck? But it wasn't that hard to pick up. Uh, that's hard to read. Uh, what we got? Gonna lose like a thousand attack if just play there. Um, increase its level by one. Okay. Anything you're playing? Uh, that's not really useful. I haven't got any normal monsters in my hand. I'm just have to play that one if it doesn't play anything stronger. That's my only chance really in this round. never understand what these cards mean. Well, considering you have no interest in it, probably not. Alright, here's level becomes four. No. Looks like it sees summon something. I'll oh, pick only synchro summon. Yeah, fuck it. Power drill bro. What the fuck is he bringing that on? Okay. Oh, fuck's sake. Yep, no doubt. Motherfucker. The pendulum decks are absolutely useless unless you draw your pendulum monsters, which I haven't so far. Come on, give me something good. Oh, okay. Okay, I can work with this. Oh fuck's sake! Oh fuck, I fucked up. I fucked up big time. Uh, 
Well, that will give me 300 power boost. How much did I pay for this? About 16 quid. It wasn't a lot. Yeah, I'm gonna lose this. I fucked up putting that in the pendulum zone because it's useless unless I've got something to go in the other pendulum zone. Which I don't. I've now got an odd ice dragon, so I'm gonna summon this because there's no chance I'm gonna fight back from that. And I've just fucked up again. Right, first duel. That's what we want to do. <laughs> I'll run it with the metals over in my actual deck. Guys, I'm a magician. Okay, that's not useful at all, so I'm just gonna put that down. Definitely doesn't work, look worth £25 plus. Well, considering you're not into Yu Gi Oh!, you would say that. Whereas I started playing Yu Gi Oh! in 2002. So. He's really not playing anything useful. What have we got here? Level 6 and level 6. Fuck, I'm gonna play that. I'm gonna take my chances in attack. Exceeds some of this. You watch out something that's gonna like destroy it like Mirror Force or something now. Nope. <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, fuck off. Oh, fucking mind. Oh, yeah, okay. Sacrifice my monster. Fantastic. And the summon skull. Brilliant. God damn it. Alright, let's go. Um, um, fuck. See, even if I play double summon and then summon dark blade and then sacrifice dark blade to play um, fucking dragon horn hunter, it's because kind of pendulum summon. See, I can only put two spell cards on it, which means you only gain 800 attack, which is 2400. So, yeah, can't really do fuck all now. I have to play Dark Blade in defense and hope that I can actually survive long enough to actually get my time uh, my time guys a magician. So once I got my time guys a magician on one side and then my star guys a magician on the other side of the pendulum zone, I can pretty much show anything in my deck. And that is not what I want. Wait no, I don't want to summon that because I'm gonna have that in attack mode, so the best I can do is just play double summon. Play that. And then play this and then just fucking just set it. It's the best I can do. I need to do something to defend myself. I can't just leave something to attack my other summon skills I'm gonna kill. And great, here comes the giant soldier stone. Like I already said, pendulum decks are really fucking useless and as you draw the pendulum monsters you need. If I put these two in the pendulum zone I'll only be able to summon level 2 monsters and I don't even have any of those in my deck. Not that they'd help me, can't think of a single level 2 monster that can help me right now. Actually what level many in bug? I can kinda help. But I don't even have that in my deck. Uh, I'm gonna lose again.
Yeah. I have to surrender and try again. Was I roll as well when this stream started? Hold on a second, I'll see what you can throw at me first. Oh, I've got my allies painted on dragon. That can actually be quite useful to be fair. Actually, that's quite useful. Play some of oh, this. Yeah, level 7 right there. Zone. And then I'll play up Lindenberg in defense. Um, yeah, fuck it, flash light. Uh, should be able to summon at least two of those. Why don't you just pay for that? For a Dark Magician, you're gonna sacrifice half your life points for the Dark Magician. Do what you want. Especially when you're up against the Pentium deck, that's really not worth it. Especially when you got this on the field, you just pay 4,000 life points to get rid of your Dark Magician. on the pendulum zone too, so you can at least pendulum some of these three. Apparently, you're the only one who's commenting. Uh, 1200, should I risk it? Yes, yeah, we I'll risk it. No, I don't want to cancel my own attack. And that backfired on me anyway. Fuck it, Utopia can sort it out. All that. Magical fucking hats. Okay. To be honest, I want to get rid of that Dust Tornado. That Dust Tornado could probably get rid of one of my Pendulum Monsters. That really fucked me over. Let's get rid of that. It's actually the Dust Tornado as well. Nice. Oh fuck! Oh bollocks, I shouldn't have done that. To get rid of my own fucking pendulum monster right there now. Ugh. The amount of stupid mistakes I've made. <laughs> oh well. Live and learn. I forgot, I forgot all about the fact that that was a, oh fuck's sake. I can't even attack with Utopia anymore. Go on then. Thank <laughs> you. 
Get at least attack with the Diamond Dire Wolf. I'm not attacking these folk either. Right, what we got? Oh, I can at least power up Utopia. Not that it really helps right now, but... Only one card that beats all the others. It's not like there's a magical card. Everyone would have that in their decks then. Just basically, if their monsters in defense mode and then and I attack them, my attack points have to be higher than their defense. Or if they're in attack mode and I'm in attack mode, my attack has to be higher than their attack. It's not hard to grasp, Jack. Fuck it, I'm gonna be a cocky bastard and risk it. Um, that backfired on me. Yeah, okay, go on then. Stargazer Magicians really... Yeah, I'm not going to sacrifice a monster for something that's 1200 attack. No, oh, fuck it, I'm not even going to risk it this time, because... Yeah... My Sacred Crane can just win this for me now. Why does it keep asking me to want to cancel my own attack with Utopia's effect? Two Dark Magician Girls and Card of Destruction. Fantastic. What we else we got? Let's reverse, do all that. I mean, the anime, this is the one where Yugi got slice of the Sky Dragon. I like reverse duelings. I like thinking about what the story would have been like if that was actually the case. Like, if Yugi had lost this one, he'd have been out of the door with City tour Tournament and wouldn't have got Slifer. And then Strings would have been the one to get the finals. What the fuck? That's weird. The idea of Strings getting to the finals. Okay, I got two things that can power up a warrior. I don't have any warriors yet though. I have, but I need to sacrifice to play him. Kind of like W Supercard. Yeah, kind of. But it's a lot more in depth. Just like when you try to make the top trumps comparison, it's still a lot more in depth. There we go, I can power up this warrior type. Let's see what I can synchro summon first. Oh, no, fuck it. I'll get more power just by powering up my uh, Flash Knight. Thousand attack, yeah, I'm not gonna bother. Oh, yeah, fuck, swords are being white, for fuck's sake. I keep forgetting about the swords. Shard agreed, that's all I can do at the moment. Actually, that's not even true. To sacrifice my tuna. I have to play the dragon horn hunter. Oh fuck! Say the fucking swords. I keep forgetting about the swords are being like. Keep going to attack and then realizing is that the swords are being light, which stop me from attacking. Might as well save Goblin Berg until I can actually have another level four of the monster. At least I can attack in the next turn. And you watch him you watch him fucking pull out something fucking amazing now. Why have I got a feeling that one of those cards is the Mirror Force card?
We'll set that. Should be able to pull out something decent from here, actually, at this point. Uh, yeah, screw it, we'll just go with Utopia. Or not, fuck's sake, spell the lightning circle. Ugh, what's that now? Oh, damn it. I got my power ups. There we go, fucking third time's a charm. Actually trying to attack, third time. That was my dog deciding to yelp for some reason. There's literally nothing that could have happened to him, what the hell? Tornado. Oh no, I meant to get rid of the spell by the circle. Uh. Try and play too quick for the game, it needs some time to read. Oh, fuck off. Uh. How do you even play Yu Gi Oh? Ian's at work for another eight minutes. What the fuck is going on? Oh fuck off, just play off your deck, why don't you? What do I do? Discard a card to my graveyard. Uh, yeah, screw it. Get rid of that. Oh, another one, alright. Judge man. Okay. Just went round to the original attack, didn't you? Oh fuck off, Jesus Christ! Even during my turn, I'm, even during my turn, he's still playing cards from his deck. Right. What we got? That's sixteen hundred. I can raise his attack power by one hundred times his level, so that's six hundred extra points. So that'll take me to twenty-two hundred, and that'll take me up to twenty-seven hundred. At which point, I'm more powerful than any card he's got. So yeah, I'll just do that. Oh yeah, I forgot he has a power up to my being played. It's really not complicated, Amber. Like I said, Amber, Tia, come round, I'll teach you how to play it. Teach you this in about 20 minutes, it's not difficult. <laughs> yeah, too, but the game has been changed so much like since the first series. There's Pendulum and Synchro and Xyz summonings now, it's crazy. But again, it's not difficult. T is just being lazy. Uh, what have we got to work with? Yeah, screw it, we'll play a tuning card. Because then, we can synchro something. No, I'm not going to... Right, let's bring out this. Activate the effect of the card. You draw one card. Uh, 
Oh, fantastic. Not really drama, to be fair. <laughs> oh, you bastard. Oh, the fucking swords are revealing light. Fuck off with that bullshit. Okay. Oh, come on. I've got way too many cards in my hand. I'm going to have to play some of, them, some of these, because otherwise I'm going to end up losing them. Right, he's a level 4, and he's a level 7 pendulum. I can at least play him. No, okay. That was pointless. Alright then. I'll play this. I'll power up my beaker. My breaker. I don't, I don't want to draw another card. I've only got 10 cards left in my deck. Attached to a spellcaster type. Alright, I can do that as well. No, no. And then I can power him up again with this. Alright, I'm short sighted so I can't see how much attack Breaker's got now, but it must be a shitload at this point. No, stop asking me! Right, okay. I think I've played enough cards now so that I don't have to discard anything at the end of my turn. <laughs> Uh, I can't attack, I keep forgetting about the swords revealing light. Holy fuck, that's it, 4,000! T, you realise that the first season start en ends after the Duelist Kingdom saga, you've got the Battle City saga after that, and then you've got... Yugi and his friends don't actually leave until the end of the fifth series, you know that right? And to be fair, I haven't actually seen GX or 5Ds or fucking Zex or Arc V or anything like that. But I'm aware of the rules that came into it. And to be fair, 5Ds did give us one of my favourite cards, which is the Stardust Dragon. I don't even have any little, like... Level 5 or over normal monsters in my deck. And I keep going to attack and I keep forgetting about the swords are being in light. I've only got 9 cards left in my deck. I'm going to lose if this carries on. You haven't seen it, you've just always assumed it was bad. <laughs> Alright, fuck it, we'll get rid of these two. Because Odd Eyes Dragon's a lot better, because if I take out a monster while it's in defense position, I can do damage to their life points equal to half their attack. And I can't attack it because of the swords. Fucking hell, someone's just gonna have to remind me the swords are revealing light up there because I, I keep forgetting. To be fair, one thing that really puts me off about 5Ds is this idea of dueling on motorcycles. I'm just like, no. Like, that's just ridiculously too cheesy. But, the series could be good for all I know. I, I will be able to look past it if the series is good. Right, I can actually attack now. Motherfucker! Oh, well, at least my odd eyes dragon can still attack. Activate the effect of the odd eyes pendulum. Oh, yeah, okay, that means destroying my odd eyes pendulum dragon. And taking another card out of my deck. I'm gonna try and end this duel now, like in this next turn, because otherwise I'm gonna run out of cards and I'm gonna lose.
Alright, fuck it. I'm gonna try and end this now with my first dragon. Yeah. No. Oh, fuck off. Ah. Yes, okay. Do 500, da 500 damage to his life points. Him using Mirror Force just caused him to lose. That's epic. <laughs> Because of the fact that I had the black pen, like the black pendant, if it gets sent to the graveyard, they lose 500 life points. So by destroying my mantle, I had the black pendant, sent the black pendant to the light, uh, graveyard. He only had 150 life points left. Oh, what we got? All right, we've at least got the star gazer magician. I just need my time gazer magician now. That is not the time guys a magician. Right, I can at least play this. Yugi's haircut is legendary, man. Not Yugi's haircut. Yes. <laughs> Something I didn't even use anyway. Alright, if I go... Yeah, screw it. I can at least bring out something else I could use. If he destroys the blue dragon, on someone else you will. Summon shitloads of monsters by having the flashlight and the uh, the full cult can can uh, cannon. What have we got? Right. Um, I want that in the pendulum zone, and I want that in the pendulum zone. Let's get these three on the field. Definitely. And it doesn't really matter what I put him in defense because his attack's really shit. And yeah, we'll fucking defense that one too. That's fine though, because I can actually. Yes! Oh, what should we go for? The Dark End Dragon, the Stardust Dragon, or the Red Dragon Archfiend? Archfiend's the strongest. Stardust Dragon can cancel out effects, and that can destroy monsters, and then I can attack. So, based on the fact that I'm probably going to need the attack power later on, I'm going to use the Red Dragon Arch Beam. It doesn't really matter anyway, because I can Pendulum Summon my uh, Stargaze and the uh, Magician back anyway. Alright. Yeah, say goodbye to 1800 of your life points, motherfucker. I love the Red, Dra Red, Red Dragon Arch Beam. I don't want to, because the only magic card I can destroy is uh, my other pendulum monster. I'm going to need them both. It's a pendulum deck. I'm going to need to pendulum summon. <laughs> right, I can at least pendulum summon this back. Yeah, that's bullshit about pendulum summoning, though. Even though I'm using it to my advantage right now. If they destroy one of my pendulum monsters, it goes back to my extra deck, which means I can pendulum summon it again after it's been destroyed. Which doesn't really make a lot of sense, but... Fuck it. And I don't really care about Red Dragon Arch being an effect of destroying my monsters if they don't attack, because I can just resummon it. What the fuck are you playing, girl? Shell. Because it could help me out in a situation, there's been times when I've had no cards I can play from my hand, and if I play it straight from my hand, it'll have at least 1800 attack, which has helped me out in the past, so... I think, fuck it. Yeah, 
Jack, you realise I swear more than anybody else, right? I don't give a shit about swearing in my streams. Oh, fuck it, I'm gonna play Quill for Chill now. Because I'm going to need to. I should have played that first, actually, so I can get my tuna card on the field as well. Oh well. Oh, well, there we go, I can just pendulum summon it anyway. I should care what about swearing. I ain't gonna fucking care. <laughs> what have we got? Uh, we'll get Stardust Dragon this time. There we go. Won't be able to do any damage to his life points, but at least I can take out this fucking Karibo. I, I completely agree with you, Clash of Kings. I love you, Gitaka, as well. <laughs> I should have done that stuff, but... But then again, if I'd have done that stuff with, then uh, I would have lost my time gazer. My time, uh, is it time gazer or a star gazer? That's neither. It's a crawford shell. <laughs> All right, we'll play that. I'm gonna at least Ray Stardust Dragon's attack to three thousand. Just to be a cocky little shit, I'm gonna attack with that as well. Reverse dueling, like, like Yanni Yugi, just throughout the whole story, which is taking ages because he's the only one I need to beat in duelist challenges. Do I have a dueling network? No, I really only play this, and I've got my cards, like, in real life. I've got my binder of cards here. Just collect them, really, don't even play it. But I am, but. Is it just certain monster cards that have battle animations? Yeah, yeah. There's a, um, it's really only like the main cards that like main characters use. So, Dark Magician's got one. The Blue Eyes White Dragon's got one. Stardust Dragon and that. But um, a lot of them don't. Got a video up on my YouTube channel of the ones that do. I missed a couple of them out because I didn't know they had them when I made the video, but. That's only got a thousand attack. I'm not even going to risk attacking with it, even though it's face down. I could easily destroy it, maybe, but. Yeah, I had a few still from when I was younger. I've got my Red Eyes Black Dragon in that binder, which uh, I've had for about 10 years ish, but. Most of them that are in there, I've recently just started collecting them again, so most of them in there are like brand new. Fuck, is that a counter attack back up? Can't even see from back here because I'm short sighted. Uh, 1600. Fuck. Okay, there's not really anything I've got I can fight back against that at the moment. Pendulum decks are really, really, really fucking useless unless you draw the specific, the specific pendulum like monsters you need. That would be great if I could actually draw my Stargazer Magician as well. Because then I can literally summon practically anything from my deck. Oh, fuck's sake. Come on, Shard of Greed, give me something good. Oh, great. At least play that and get something out of my deck that I'm going to use next turn. Alright, what are we going to get? What are we going to get? What are we going to get? What do I have my hand? That's a level 7. That's a level 2. So, we're going to use Pendulum Summon some decent stuff with those two. Nothing that's going to, like, Give me the upper hand at the moment, but. Alright. Oh, card. Yeah, screw it. 
We'll chain two to get rid of that. Point pendulum summoning. I've got no choice now. No, hang on. Fighting spirit will give me two, 300 attack for every monster they've got on their field. So that's 600 attack points. Which takes me to 1800. Plus 500 is still not enough. So, yeah. I'm just going to play that in defense. No, I don't. Because the only card I can get rid of is I, one of my two pendulum monsters with that effect. Great, now that is magnet. Oh, fuck off! I'm getting rid of my one defense now. Ugh. Pendulum decks are fantastic when you draw the right cards. If you don't draw the right cards, they're ridiculously shit. Let's try again then. Going first. It's so paranoid whenever I play my play my hand like, in the first turn because then I don't know what they're gonna pull out next. Alright, what we got? Oh yeah! I got both my time gazer and my star gazer magician. I can literally play anything out on my deck now with these two. Well, providing I draw them obviously. So I got a level six and a level three. I don't know whether I've got a level nine synchro in my deck, but I'll I'll see if my extra deck starts shining after this. If it starts shining, I can see Gross Summon or something. Yep, there we go. How about level 9? Okay. Azorai's Silver Dragon then. And I'll set that just in case he actually has a card that can take out my Azorai's. Two most useful cards in my deck, the Stargazer Magician and the Time Gazer Magician, both in the first hand. That was great. <laughs> what have we got? Oh, I want to activate the effect of the Azor Eyes. I don't even know what the. Oh, yeah. There we go then. We'll bring back Judgment. Okay, what have we got? I can play it, but I haven't got another level 9 synchro, so that's kind of useless, but uh, I just realised I can't attack. I've done that several times in this video so far, in this stream, I've tried to attack when the swords are revealing light or... summon something. There we go. Now I'm having a much better time in this rematch in this rematch because I actually drew the cards I needed and in the first turn as well. Never drawn them both in the first turn. But once I've got my Stargazer and my Time Gazer Magician on the on the field, I can pretty much there's literally no card in my deck I can't draw. Oh, and then take out my fucking mech tall dragon. Because you're just going to destroy your own summon skull by doing that. Yes, of course I want to destroy the summon skull. Why even ask me? Because these are options of my own monsters. I'm not going to destroy those. I don't even know why it asks you that. It's like whenever I've got Utopia on the field and I try and attack with Utopia, it asks me if I want to activate Utopia's effect, which stops Utopia's attack. I'm like, no. Alright, let's pendulum summon this bitch. It's level 5 and a level 4. I can't exceed summon anything with those. So I'm just going to play him in defense. God.
And now the Azorites. And fucking fantastic. Well, I was about to check the effect of Stargazer Magician because I remember something about him negating the effect of spell cards while he's in the Pendulum Zone, but it doesn't actually cover trap cards as well, it's literally just spells. Sun is up. We'll bring out this. 2500 attack, and I can Pendulum Summon it because I've got these two in the Pendulum Zone. I can't attack with my Azorais, but I can attack with everything else, so... Yeah, you're fucked. Yeah, Yugi is absolutely fucked. I don't even care what cards I get, because I've got all the best cards in the game anyway. I've got two Slifers, what the fuck? <laughs> one, two Slifers in one duel, that's great. But like I said earlier in the stream, I like doing reverse duels because this is part of the story campaign. And I think about what how the anime would have been different if you know these results had actually happened. So I'm playing as Marek versus Yugi at the moment. The result of uh, the entire series would have been different if Marek had beaten Yugi in the finals. Holy fuck! Have I drew them both again in the first turn? Yes. <laughs> fuck yeah. Alright, first I'm going to play Summoner's Art. Yeah, I'll bring out that. I can never say the name of this dragon monster that I've just drawn. Alright, then let's play Stargazer Magician and Time Gazer Magician. Pendulum Summon these three. Um, as if twice in a row I've actually drawn my Time and Stargazer Magicians. They are literally the two most useful cards in my deck. Simply because of this, I can draw literally, I can play literally any card in my deck using those. Now I'm going to power up. Uh, yeah. Blue Dragon Summoners are literally only good for getting other cards out of my deck. I'm going to try attacking them. Ah, uh, that failed. I doubt I can be so lucky and draw those two out in the third duel in a row. Third time would literally not be the charm for me. I don't know, attack him, that's all he's good for is being attacked. I don't have to sacrifice anything on the field. Whoa, everyone's gone really quiet at the moment. Haven't had a comment in a while. <laughs> okay, I can't see from all the way back here how much attack he's got, but I'm sure it's less than Judge Man's. I'm just massacring Yugi in this duel. <laughs> There we go, now I can actually do all this challenge Yugi. Right, Yami Yugi is literally the only person in the original Yugi series that I haven't beaten in Dawes challenges everybody else. Because these these things are so difficult because they use they don't use their story decks, they use sort of archetype proper built up proper like you know tournament style decks based on their personality in the anime, so Taya had, Taya was really, fun. she was harder than Marek, Taya was, she had all these really fucking powerful cards, sort of themed after fairies and hope and goodness and friendship and all that bullshit, but she was fucking difficult, Marek was easy as hell because he was just defending with Revival Jam and every time I attacked the Revival Jam he was losing life points, so... And nothing useful. Okay, I'm gonna bring out this. Actually, that is quite useful because then I can put 
that in my one pendulum zone, and then the Dragon Horn Hunter in the other. And it's not as good as having Time Geyser and um, Star Geyser uh, magicians in each. I can only synchro, I can only pendulum someone between uh, level 4, 5, and 6, but it's better than nothing. Like I've said before, this deck is really useful. It would be really useless if I can't pendulum summon anything, so at least it's better to have something in the pendulum zone, if it's, even if it's not as good as having my time with Stargazer uh, magicians. And I'm too tired to speak. <laughs> yeah, I was expecting that. At least I'll stop Oh, you bastard. Motherfucker, I've wasted that trap. Yeah, fucking hell. These doors challenges are so fucking hard. <laughs> uh, now I've got my time in Stargates and Magicians. Typical. Pendulum summon him. At least I can pendulum summon him in defense. 2400 will be enough to defend me. Unless, you know, he draws out Dark Magician or Summon Skull. Or they've added something else to his challenge deck, like Kyber had like six Azorai Silver Dragons. And he had like the lady with eyes of blue, which managed to bring back his blue eyes about 20 times. So, I once, I, when I was fighting Kyber in challenges, I had to fight two Azorai Silver Dragons and two Blue Eyes White Dragons on the field at the same time. Oh, fuck you. Oh, are you serious? Fucking hell. Yay! Losing! Come on, Shadow Creed, give me something good. Bastard. Actually, that is quite useful because I can hear that then. Level 5, level 4, and I think Sacred Crane's level 4. So I should be able to summon Utopia. What we got? Ah, oh, I can't even pendulum summon that now. Right, okay. Let's get Utopia out there at least. At least with Utopia, I can actually negate their attacks. Oh god, that's received a power boost. I can't even see from all the way back here how much is got, and then I have to go check. Let's move close to the TV. 3400, fantastic. 3400, I have to keep moving close to the TV when I can't see their power up. But, yeah. Um, I can at least get rid of that. I should be able to take his power down a little bit. Hopefully. Yeah, it's still got a power up. Oh, and it's going to receive a bigger power up. Fantastic. Oh no, I shouldn't have even wasted one of those because I could just bring back my Stargazer Magician anyway. Alright, let's have a look. It's level 6, level 5, level 4, level 3. Okay, none of those, none of those are helpful. Right, he should get three counters on him, which are worth 400 each, so that's actually 1200. So that's taking to 2800, I think. I can't attack that specifically. I'll attack that though. And the same for this card. Attack with Utopia. Oh, fucking hell, it's a magician of faith. I can't even fucking use Utopia to defend myself now. 
terraforming. Gray is going to receive even more of a power up. Fuck's sake. Oh god. No, I'm not even going to bother. I'm not going to re summon that anyway. What have we got? Ray Kid. I'm just going to play them both in defense. Fuck it. I'm going to have to go over to the TV again and have a look at the power ups now. It's a lot. Sorry you can't see it me at the moment, but I'm going to have to check this. And uh, nobody said not seeing me is a good thing, although it's probably true. Alright, what's he got? 3900, fan fucking tastic. Best I can do is just switch everything to the. F oh. Eh, fuck it, actually. That's actually useful because I can just get rid of this. Although it's still 3400. Okay. I'm gonna switch to this. I can't even switch it until next turn, fuck's sake. Okay, yay. What do I want to do? No, I don't even want to activate Utopia's ability, even to save 1800. Because then, you can take out Utopia with literally anything. It doesn't even have to have higher attack than Utopia once he's got no XE's material monsters behind him. Have to set that defense. Actually, probably shouldn't. Yeah, should. Should have done that. All right, fuck it. I'm just gonna attack this motherfucker over here. At least do some sort of damage to him. Okay, that's not a good thing. I should have activated his ability actually. To be fair, to get rid of the field. No, I don't want to use Utopia's ability. I will literally get slaughtered if I do. I'm getting slaughtered now, but still. Or a tuna monster that could help. Maybe. Nope. I really hope I'm not gonna regret flipping these. What have we got to work with? Okay, I can at least get Leviathan Dragon's attack up to two up to three thousand. But that'll take two turns. But in the first turn I can at least get it up to twenty five hundred, so Get rid of these two to get rid of them right now. Activate the ability. I'll activate the effect of that. And get rid of his fucking. Oh, okay, that didn't even work. Fantastic. This, I'm getting slaughtered by a card whose original attack is 4. Not 400. Actually, there is a card I can use to actually do destroy the fuck out of that. With Ragon Zero. Don't tell me I took Ragon Zero out of my deck. Oh, God. I don't even have Ragon Zero. Oh, yeah, I do. Alright, I need two level four monsters on the field. I've got one. That doesn't even count because these monsters. Okay. He's gonna destroy the Vietnam Dragon in this turn now, anyway, I can see it. Oh, fucking hell, another Magician of Faith. I'm not having a good time right now. Oh, God. <laughs> lose even more life points this turn. Uh, oh god, yes, fine, I'll use Utopia's ability to start the attack. I need level 4 months to do it right now so I can get Ragon Rosa, uh, Ragon Zero. And it's not even a level 4 months, so fuck's sake, okay. Something came in the mail today. Um, good for you, I guess. <laughs> I can't attack his life points directly if I get rid of that. I'm going to go check again because I need to check the power ups again. Ugh. Right, I've got 300, he's got 3400. Right, okay, let's activate the effect of this. It's not going to help much, but. Bastard. Right. Right, I'm going to at least pendulum summon this back. 
You got these nuts in the post. Well done, Jack. You just jumped onto an internet bandwagon and didn't even do it well. If I switch to Vietnam Dragons of Defense, with zero defense, he might not see it as a threat. He might go after a CIO at the end of the day. He might go after a weaker card with higher defense. Nope. But I can at least use Fighting Spirit to stop the attack. Oh, for fuck's sake. There's an attack on first up. Normal monster. I don't have any normal monsters on the field. Fucking hell. <laughs> Ragging Zero would be fantastic right now. Okay, that's not even useful for him anyway because I can just like sink like pendulum summon those two back. Oh okay. I've just got something in my hand that can really help. Neo Space and Ground Wall Ground Mall. He's only got sixteen hundred attack, but fuck it. Oh god, I should have brought my time and space gazer and mag magicians back with Benjamin Son first, but it's too late now. Alright, what we got? Okay, Flash Knight in attack. Yeah, there we go, we've got Cobra. Uh, yeah, that in defense. At least with the Neo Spatian Mole, I can at least. Uh, send any powerful cards back to his hand. It's a really fucking useful card, actually. No, oh, fuck off. It's fucking sick of feeling like a little fucker. Fuck it up. Well, they're not lying when they say that these uh, doors challenge things are uh, difficult. Because they fucking up. Alright, what have we got? 3,000. Oh, actually, I can use some Thunder End Dragon to destroy what the monster he's got on the field. I think. <laughs> you watching that work now. I'm a Dark End Dragon, not Thunder End Dragon. Activate effect. Get the fuck rid of that. Oh, that duck hole. At least it can bring back some of the cards he's just destroyed. What's she doing now? She got a power up, didn't she? Nah. <laughs> 400. <laughs> I don't think there's any way that's a power up. Oh, we go. Can at least bring back my Stargazer Magician and Flash Knight. Power on my flash knight with this. Yeah, yeah, whatever. But I can't see from here whether or not it's actually enough, but I can do it. Oh great, I've lost my pendulum. No, I've lost my pendulums. Great. Alright, we got level 4 and level 3. That's not even remotely useful. 2700, for fuck's sake. Okay, good for you, Jack. Fantastically good for you. Level threes. One's a tuner, so that's level six. Do I have any synchros at level six? Yeah, but nothing that's useful. 
two level eight monsters, that isn't useful. Three or more level six, that isn't useful. Oh, you fucking bastard. Nothing useful in my extra deck. One tuner on one and one non tuners, but he's a level eight. That's literally the only thing I could summon is the Celestial Wolf Lord Blue. Mm -hmm. <sighs> At least play that. I don't give a shit. So I can summon that. And summon that. That's probably the most useful card I can actually play. Oh god, I'm gonna get rid of that. That fucking spaceship mole. I needed it. I can actually attack in this next turn. Whether or not I'm going to have a next turn is another story. Yay! Well, I'm going to need something good now. Oh, fuck off! <laughs> oh, for God's sake! See, for the first I said that having one of these in my deck was useless. Even though it's probably going to get destroyed in the next turn, at least it's something to defend my life points, which I wouldn't have had if I didn't have it in my deck. Oh, fuck off. At least one or not. You know, prove that other person right. Piece of shit. Okay, I'm going to lose 400 life points. I'm so scared. Be something good. Oh, fuck off. Oh god, I'm gonna lose so badly. 31 turns in. I hate losing when the duel has gone on this long. Yeah, go on then, power it up. Go on then, power it up, holy white. Instead of losing 400, I'm losing fucking 900. Actually, that's not actually that good. Okay, I can at least place that in the pendulum zone, but it's probably gonna get rid of it. Fuck off. Ah, okay, so I can use that to get rid of the swords of Revealed and Light. So at least I can attack in the next turn. If I can get a monster I can actually summon. Oh fuck, what now? Oh god's sake, oh god's sake. And he's bringing back Dark Hole. So even if I do bring some, even if I do draw something I can use, that's gonna be useless. God, these challenge decks are so fucking hard to beat. You can see only one from the original series I have yet to beat. I've got 400 life points, I'm probably have to surrender the duel now. I've got Dark Blade, which, to be fair, nah, that's useless. I'm gonna have to surrender. I had no choice, there was no way I was gonna win now. Alright, let's try again. I think Utopia is a good way of starting things off, hopefully. Oh, yeah, there was no way he was going to attack me. I hope.
Yeah, Jack, you probably heard that from someone at UKIP, in which case, yes, it is most likely bull. Utopia now. Oh, we've got a place now. Nothing I can use. Actually, yes, yeah, something I can use. I'm gonna use the dust tornado. Even, if, even though it hasn't got rid of the magic card, it can't use the tokens to special summon or anything. Utopia, with that. Oh, fuck off, I know what he's doing. What the fuck? Oh, they're the same points, I can't see from this far away. 2800, there we go. I think I'm gonna go ahead and say it's probably fucked, but I don't wanna jinx it. <laughs> I should have used that fucking one to power up, break it there. Yeah, door summons are not useful for me right now. Best I can do is just attack a Utopia. I won't destroy it, but at least, at least I can take off life points. 300 life points left. Why is it I struggled so much against Yugi in the last door, and now in this door, I'm massacring him? Are you watching bust out some amazing combo? Nope. He's just giving up. He's literally giving up hope. Yeah, Jack, you know for a fact I'm not going to be playing LEGO Dimensions. Summoning. Oh god, here's the card that caused me so many troubles last time. Oh god, here comes the power ups. And he's got rid of Utopia. Brilliant. And Judgment's gone too, yay! God's sake, he's using a part of his deck at the moment. And now he's fusing them to bring out. What the fuck is that? I've got a feeling that my trap card is not even going to work. Come on, he's got 300 life points left. Oh, this was typical. Right, I'm going to set that. 
Alright, and I hope that I can pull off some amazing comeback here. I haven't even seen the list yet, so I don't even know. Right, Play double summon. Oh, I don't care. Play this. And then I'm going to sacrifice it. To bring out this. So he's going to get power up two. Then I'm going to activate that. And power up even more. I should still lose life points, hopefully. I can't see if I've got enough, but... Yes! That's all the original duelists being in challenge mode. What have we got? Brilliant. That's all of them defeated in challenge mode. <sighs> I swear they use such fucking powerful cards in these challenges, but... There we go. Hold on. All right, I'm just gonna start on GX now. But I'm not gonna be doing that in this stream. And once I've finished with GX, I'm gonna do five Ds. And Zexel. The series that actually introduced aliens to Yu-Gi-Oh! And I have already done because I've already beaten you yet. Yeah, I'm going to go to the card shop before ending the stream. I'll buy a UC pack. Oh, okay. 5,000 attack! Oh, 3,000. See, there's my short sight just coming out. I couldn't even see what the card was. Oh, nice, day 200. And I'm probably going to end the stream here, to be honest. Thanks, everyone, for watching. I'm going to be putting this on YouTube as well, so if you want to watch it again, it's going to be on YouTube. Uh, try and do more live streams as the uh, weeks and whatever go on. So, yeah. Uh, this has been the Yu-Gi-Oh! live stream. We might do more Yu-Gi-Oh! live streams. Uh, this one kind of went over quite well. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.